everybody, Anne here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. It's so cold! Well, it's not cold inside here. It's like 29 degrees outside. It's 57. Inside, I've got a beautiful fire going. Ah, oh, it, I, I keep saying it, but it is a whole different world inside this tiny house this year. It is just wonderful. Anyhow, I gotta go out and do chicken chores. I haven't even done chicken chores yet, and it's like 8.30 a.m. That's terrible. I keep procrastinating because it's gonna be cold and I gotta dust snow off of things, and uh, I think I need to make some breakfast first. I got like five dozen extra eggs in cartons, and uh, I've got another almost dozen in the basket so I'm gonna start feeding these chickens their eggs back every day I got some pe Pape. I got some pepper in there I'm not adding any salt but I'm gonna eat a few of these I may give some to Papa and the puppies and then the chickens are gonna get the rest oh and that's not even counting the 36 eggs that I've got water glass so yeah I think it's time to start using some of these up Mmm, yummy. Yep, I got some ketchup on it. That's only because I've ran out of Leon Perrins that, am I saying that right? Leon Perrins, that uh, barbecue sauce or whatever kind of sauce it is, steak sauce. Oh, that stuff is so delicious over eggs. But I got me some ketchup. Okay, fellas, I hope that's enough for you. The puppies made me drop some of the eggs, but they've already eaten most of theirs. So, oh, my goodness. Look at me. I'm like, I got this on, I got this on, I got this on. Oh, it is so cold, and it's it's kind of like ice right now, ice. I cleaned the tarps off, but they need to go. I need something different up there. But these uh, gentlemen look like they're getting along okay this morning. Okay, beautiful Easter eggers, come on out. I made you some nummies. I knew they'd like it. You better get on out there, Torch, and get you some. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's one more Easter egg. Oh, there she comes. Beautiful babies. Hello, chickens. Come on out, Roxy. It's okay. Come on out. Get yourself some grub before it's all gone. Whoa, I got two eggs in the file cabinet already this morning. But it is like 8.30, 9 o'clock, so may as well check back here. Yep, got two back here, too. I'm going to grab them. Whew, the Easter eggs haven't laid yet. I already checked. But these chickens don't seem bothered by this at all, so I just, several times today, I'm going to have to check the tarps, make sure they're not collapsing um, like they were this morning. I fixed them, though. And uh, just hope that this kind of stops here pretty soon because it's cold. But I made it through chicken chores, and my fingers have not frozen off, so that's a bonus. Oh, I almost forgot the solar panels. Not too bad today, so I'll just brush these off like I did before. And then I'll go around the side of that. Oh, this is like ice. I'm going to have to scrape it off. Yeah, and then go get the solar panel that's off the side of the porch. Uh, that's not too hard. It'll come off with the brush. It just takes a little bit longer. I'm afraid to scrape it because I don't want to break these solar panels. So we'll just use the brush, the broom. Almost done. And I can go inside and finish my coffee. <laughs> so that in a couple of hours I can come out here and do this again. But it's good to get the first layer off. Living off grid is awesome, but you gotta trade some luxuries and some comfort. It's a lot more work, but it's work that you do to survive. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna have free electricity. Can't forget the steps. Yep, gotta get all this off it's before it starts compacting down like it already is. Yeah, this reminds me of back in Ohio. This was the routine. It's not very typical over here though. I tell you what, coming back inside from being out there, it's now 27 degrees. Whoa, I'm just, you guys, I just feel like I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream. I'm warm when it's freezing cold outside, and it's just wonderful. So today, there's not going to be a lot going on for anybody, 
honestly, because, well, like in Ohio, I used to live in Ohio, um, they were prepared for storms. I mean, they knew they were coming. They would be out a day uh, ahead of time, salt in the roads. The trucks would be stationed in strategic places, and it just worked really well most of the time. Um, out here, it's not like that. They don't have the same kind of resources. They don't have big stockpiles of salt to dole out. Um, so the country roads, they don't even get shoveled at all. You know, it's up to the neighborhood, basically. Um, and so everything comes to a stop when it snows or gets ice or whatever out here. Um, because they just don't have the same kind of resources. Because it doesn't hardly ever snow here. So, yeah, things come to a grinding halt in Tennessee, at least in this area, when it snows. But that's okay because... It doesn't affect me. <laughs> it's just uh, another day for me. I just found out that one of the things that I was supposed to be getting tomorrow, which I actually was supposed to be getting on the 3rd, but they never shipped it. Well, it's coming today. It is coming today. I don't think FedEx will have any problems getting around on these roads. I mean, they're pretty smart people, right? Well, the FedEx driver that I have, she's awesome. She... She's awesome. <laughs> She's awesome. Anyhow, um, it's supposed to get here today. I don't know what time, so I had to pull the wagon to the end of the road. I was going to actually um, do a walk and talk while I was pulling it down there, but I couldn't find my phone. I thought I had it in my pocket, but it had fallen out onto the ground. So I'm just going to sit and wait. While I'm waiting, I think I'm going to pickle a couple dozen eggs. Yeah, it's going to take a little while for this water to heat up because it's cold. I got a couple dozen in there, but you know what? I'm using a gallon jar, so I'm going to go ahead and do 36. I know I can get 36 eggs into a gallon jar. I got my brine up here. It doesn't really need to be, like, heated, but it helps the sugar and the salt dissolve a little bit more. So it won't be long. Yeah, actually, it will be long, but that's okay. Because I'm going to have to do these eggs in two batches. Haha, <laughs> I don't have a... I do have a bigger pot, but it's just way too big, so... Yeah, I'll just do them in two batches. That's alright. First batch is done, and I think I'm just going to let them cool like this out here. I think that, that'll work good enough. And then i got to peel them all. Oh my gosh, that's so many eggs to peel. And that's only half of them. Yeah, I figured I'd have to come out here and do this again. I don't think it's going to precipitate anymore today, so... I think this will be the last time, hopefully. Look at that. That's a gallon jar. There are 36, eight, well, 34. I ate two of them because I didn't peel them very well. Puppies! Goodness! So, I'm boiling up one more dozen eggs. So, I guess I can put four dozen eggs in a gallon. Well, it's starting to get dark and the FedEx guy or girl hasn't made it here yet. I know. They're probably going to get here between like five and six. So, you'll just have to wait to see what it is in the next video or the next one after that. I'm not sure. Um, anyhow, I got all the, the last batch of eggs all boiled up. They're outside cooling. I just need to add them to the jar. And I've got like four dozen pickled eggs. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Well, in a couple of weeks, anyhow. So, I think I'm just going to end this video here. And I'll let you know how things went in the next video. Th that doesn't feel right, does it? No. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.